Hi everyone everyone! Kohoma da Hyundai! Guys, today we are in Midigama. The first reason to come here is to explore local farmhouse, which is related to tropical fruits. I have never seen the plantation of tropical fruits, so that's why it is very exciting for me. From this, you make black yeah, pepper? Yes. Oh, I never known that. Do you like to harvest this? Sri Lankan strong woman. Okay. Wow. It's not sour like lemon, but manageable sour. Mm. This is a sour, so, but it's small one. Look at this side. Looks like penguin. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, I got it. So in Sri Lanka, mostly fruits are sour. Actually, this is a fruit farm inside the jungle. And also, I will be joining yoga club and it will start very soon. That's why I have to go very urgently. Okay, let's go. Wow. Look at this beautiful rice field. I think this is outside of fruit farm. But uh, we still didn't reach that point. Almost there. Just a little bit ahead. Okay. Let's find them. Ah, this is the sign, Midigama Fruit Farm. Hi, Boan. This is Fruit Farm, yeah? Yeah. A parking is there? Okay. Can you go there? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god, it's so huge from this side already. I see, I think this is a banana. Good morning. So you can just park here. Okay, first time in Asia visiting farmhouse. Such a lovely experience. And we woke up early morning. Hi, Buan. Kohomada, Hyundai? Hyundai. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you, Purvika. Nice <laughs> okay, thank you so much for the invitation. Okay. okay. So okay. first we start from yoga. Yes, first uh -huh. you guys is going to start from yoga and really nice to meet you guys. Thank you. And thank you so much for having me here. Thank you. Stuti, it's okay. our great pleasure. Thank you for invitation. Yes. <laughs> so the yoga class will be started at 9.30. Okay. So first you can join the class and then you can join the lunch. Oh, so wow. Very special this lunch. This place like very famous, yeah? Many foreigners. Uh, yes, yeah. because I think the main reason is the yoga. Mm -hmm. And I want to say about the lunch. And yes, it's yes. Very special uh, because we are doing organic farming here. Okay. Uh, the all vegetables and fruits uh, including in the lunch from wow. the farm, and we harvest it in morning and mm -hmm. then prepare it for you. Okay. Uh, and let's talk about more after the yoga. Okay. Now we can go yoga shala. I will. Yeah, you see, you are what you eat. Better to eat fruits and do yoga <laughs> from from morning. Oh, yoga is here. Nice. So I think most of us joining for the first day. Hi, Boan. Hello. Uh, yoga mat they will provide, so you don't need to take yours. Okay, I'll be standing here. So this is, guys, my first experience doing yoga. Shirin, thank you so much for the yeah. session. It is my first yoga session in my whole life, to be oh, honest. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> before I've been doing stretching. Yeah. And this time, yeah, it was so relaxing. Would you like to explain what kind of yoga session you have in this area? Yeah, sure. Here we kind of do everything. We have restorative yoga, we have ashtanga, vinyasa, yin, somatic flows, slow flows. Wow. Whatever you want to do, I think you can try it here. So, <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> so many names that I even don't know yeah. how it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all the yoga sessions mm -hmm. last two hours, like one hour, 50 minutes or different period time? It depends, but mm. the yoga classes are 75 minutes. Okay. And then any workshop can be an hour and a half to two hours. What might be the reason to join yoga session? So mm. for me, it's just like stretching, but maybe yeah. for other people, it's like going deeper, searching mm -hmm. some psychological things. What do you yeah. think? Can you tell me? I think a lot of people come because they want to deepen their own practice with meditation okay. or with yoga. Yeah, it really depends for each person. Mm -hmm. And I think also people who practice a lot or consistently, they want to keep their practice even when they are traveling or wow. staying somewhere else. So they will come here to keep their practice. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Okay, Thank let's you. go for brunch. Yeah. This is our upcoming restaurant area okay. and we're going to open it soon. 
Okay. And this is the first time we are organizing our lunch here. Oh, Otherwise, okay. uh, in upstairs, in Yoga Shala, we are organizing our lunch. Especially it is that the all fruits and vegetables from the farm, morning harvest and just prepared for yourselves. Okay. Okay, let's see Can what we see? We have. Yeah, let's yes. go. Yeah. So we are first guests at this building, prosperity to your place. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. What do you have? The red rice and dal. Mm -hmm. Not from the farm, okay. and other vegetables and fruits are from the farm. So this is red rice, okay. and this is a dal curry. What is this? This is ash plantain curry. Mm. Ash plantain means a banana variety. Okay. It's used in for cooking. Wow, and never tried. <laughs> so this is jackfruit, okay. steamed jackfruits with coconut scrapes and looks rasai. <laughs> okay, so rasai. Yes. Yeah. So this is fried eggplants. Mm -hmm. And this is leafy vegetable sambal. Okay. Mixing with some coconut scrapes and mm -hmm. things. And this is eggs from farm chicken. So you have also chicken in your farm? Yes. Wow. It's a uh, several number of chicken, not many. This is a uh, guava and those are lovi fruit. Actually, it's an underutilized fruit crop in Sri Lanka. Okay. I think this one is sour, yeah? Yes, yeah, very uh -huh. sour. And I tried it once, it was super sour super for me. Sour. <laughs> and this is papaya okay. and again banana. Okay. And also coffee. Coffee? Yes. Okay. So on my background, it's written, you are what you eat. So yeah, guys, try to eat proper food, good food. It will be profitable for you, being strong health. Rasai. Mm -hmm. So guys, I have changed my outfit because we will have farm tour. So I want to protect all my body because it's so sunny today. And yeah, here's my cap and the poor Vika. She will guide us today. This is 1996. person called as Michael Vaz bought this land. Uh -huh. At that time, this is a coconut land okay. and no fruits. And then he decided to grow fruit crops. Mm -hmm. And then he has a started fruit farm here. These okay. are pineapples and... Uh, Which one pineapple? Those are pineapples. Oh, yeah. really? Those are Do pine you have pineapples now? Yes. Can we see? Yes, of course. Oh, really? I have mm. never seen pineapple. Oh. <laughs> I mean, a pineapple uh, in like inside plant, the plantation, yes. yeah. Otherwise, we also eat pineapple in Kazakhstan. Okay, so this is pineapple. Wow. Guys, look at these small pineapples. Chutta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you call pineapple in Sinhala? Annasi. Annasi? Yes. Annasi. Annasi. Chutta annasi. Yes. In our language we say ananas. Ananas. Okay. So the one ananasi. plant get one ananas. Wow. Um, one plant plant only one ananas. Yes. So we are trying to develop uh, most biodiversity land in the country or this region. Mm -hmm. We are uh, following agroecology and the regenerative farming concept. So the ecology means that uh, minimum and no damage for the soil and climate and the biodiversity. Okay. And the regenerative means that the plants grown their own selves, not using artificial chemicals or yes, fertilizers right. and yeah. thing. These trees are papaya and we have guava trees, jackfruit, some this is Ceylon olive tree. Okay. Uh, and yes. Nice. So All of them are mixed here yeah, in one land. Mm, yes, we are doing mixed cropping and this big tree is a rambutan. Uh, normally, if we want a rambutan in commercial level, we are not allocated to grow in this much of big. And normally, we have small trees, mm -hmm. but uh, we are respecting our ecology and uh, regenerative farming concept. Then we are not cutting most trees okay. and keep it as it is. What is this? It's like yeah, vegetable? Yeah. Yes, this is radish. Radish? Yes, mm. maybe you can harvest. Okay. You can harvest radish oh, plant. Do you think it's ready? Yes. Well, it's this. Wow. That's a good one. I think ah, you can it's so radish. tall. Yes. It's big white radish. Yes. Okay. So uh, usually you use this for your kitchen? Yes. For food, yeah? Yes. But only for yourself, not selling mm. outside, no. as you said. Normally we are selling our fruits and vegetables for more most health conscious people like uh, oh. Ayurvedic hotels and as well as villages. Okay. And yes. Who really need current days, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, and also our laborers. Mm -hmm. uh, rest of the things we are getting for making our lunch, dinner and for the events. That's why it was so delicious, our lunch. Yeah. Everything was so organic. And mm. yeah, and also freshness. Yes, so fresh. Do you like to harvest one Do radish? you think I can? Yes. <laughs> you can then harvest Okay, it. let's see. Wow, huge radish. So cool. 
So if you guys cooking, you can keep it. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can we make can have salad. It. Okay. I just can hold it like this. Yes. I look like rabbit. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so cool. So let's uh, keep this and uh, get after going. Sorry? Uh, let's keep it here oh, and yeah. you can carry it after. Okay. Yes. It's good that I c we can keep it here. Yeah. Yes. Here we have some eggplants. Kangkung and some ladies' fingers. Ever seen pepper vines? No. Black pepper? No. This is a black pepper vine. Can we go there? Yes, of course. Okay, let's go. Let's see. This is a black pepper vine. Actually, this is not a tree. Uh -huh. This is a vine. Comes from here. Ah. Okay, and this is a support tree. Support tree. Yes, this is the vine. This one? Yes. From this, you make black yeah, pepper? Yes. Oh, I never known that. This is unripe black unripe ones after ripening it gets red color okay. red color and then we are harvesting and then doing sun dry no artificial drying and just grind okay and you can get the pepper and you use this coconut yes, shells of yeah? course yes uh, the coconut husk, husk. and the uh -huh. inner, inner part of the husk and so those are from the inner part of the coconut husk yes and this name as coir dust mm -hmm. we are using it as mulch for the ground and also for the composting. Aha, uh -huh. nice. Because I've seen many village houses, they put coconut, this yeah. upper side here on the tree and a new plant comes from inside. Yeah, and also the co coconut husk are really good moisture, it has really good moisture holding capacity, uh -huh. coconut husk. So when cool. we are planting some uh, coconut trees as well, we are putting um, coconut husk for the ground and then plant. Okay, um, it keeps humidity yeah, inside yes. the soil. So cool. those are some ladies fingers. Ladies finger, it's vegetable? Vegetable, okra? okra? I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> In our country we don't have this type of uh, vegetable. vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Malarian. this one is lady mm. finger. Mm. Did we try it? I don't remember. Maybe for curry? Yes. Ah, maybe, maybe. So yeah, we eat we it can without it knowing what is that. One plant, only one lady finger? No, not only one. It comes to Ah, from this side, yes. I see. Okay. This big tree is a cotton tree. You can see some green color pods and there are some black color ones. The black, black color ones are ready to splash and then we can get cotton inside the pillows. Aha. Uh -huh. In our country, we can get cotton from these short plants. Ah. And there will be a lot of cottons and our people just collect it ah. and make some fabrics from okay. that. Okay. From this cotton, it's available. Like, uh, you can make the fabric, right? Yes, we can make fabric, but uh, this is, we have only one tree mm -hmm. and then it's not enough to make fabric like this. <laughs> we just yes. show this ash plant in which you already ate at your la lunch. Ah, this is ash plant. Normally ash plant in it's a cooking type okay. and not eating raw. So now it's already ready and you can cut it? Yes, cut and... You leave it until it becomes yellow? No. You start to cook from yes. this? Yes. She's the cooking lady. Hi, Buwan. Oh, hi, Buwan. It was here. Hyundai? Rasai. Rasai. Lunch Rasai. Hello, Hi, Buwan. <laughs> Can, are you giving us? Yes, this Smilla. is for you guys and Stuti. Yeah. Thank you so much. This? this is papaya. Ah, papaya. papaya, fresh yes. juice. Fresh papaya juice wow. and today morning Stuti. harvest and made for yourself. Thank you. So papaya from this land also. Yes, yes. Star fruits. Star fruits? Yes. Ah, this mm -hmm. one. Okay. <laughs> you call it star fruit? Yes. How it tastes? Is it uh, sweet? Yes, and some are watery sweet. Ah. We can make some pickles. Huh? So. Ah, pickles. Yes. Okay, I know about pickles. <laughs> it's so bitter. No. Pickles are bitter. No, pickles are not bitter. It's like sour taste, sour sweet and uh -huh. there's some strong taste. Strong flavor inside. Yes. Okay, I got it. <laughs> this is uh, again the cinnamon area. Cinnamon is highly used in yes. our country also. It costs a bit expensive ah, to cinnamons. buy cinnamon okay. powders. Mm. Mm. So many cinnamons. Yeah. Yes. So this big tree is a tamarind. Tamarind? Yes. But not the season right now, mm. yeah? Or we can see Maybe the tamarind. You can taste tamarind leaves. Also tasting? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. let's see. Sour. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's sour. So sour. So if we appear alone in a jungle, when we will be looking for food, we can eat this kind of plants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if there is no food around. Yeah. Like monkeys. Yeah, monkeys, they like eating these kind of things, yeah? Do you have monkeys here? Yeah, but uh, fortunately not many. We have many peacocks here. They are attacking our plants and... Uh, but we have separate plants for themselves also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Really huge one, tamarind. Yes. Wow. Yeah, this is a durian tree. Durian? Yes. Oh my god. Trees. But uh, Do you like blooming. durian? Yeah, I like. <laughs> well, you don't like? Not my favorite one. Okay, so it's, it's blooming season now, durian. Durian is very heavy, yeah? Yeah, it's very intense. Yeah. Intense, yes. yeah. This is the polytunnel, which we are doing some research. Try to make some organic plants as well. Inside? Yes. It's like tomato? It's a capsicum. This is under research basis. We have some training students from agriculture school and the universities. So okay. they are doing their research inside. Nice. Wow. Now I just remind myself my student times. <laughs> we also used to visit such kind of places for the research. This built by termites. Oh my god. It's very old. And sometimes inside uh, this will be a house for some snakes as well, like cobra or... <gasps> cobra? Yes. Dangerous? <laughs> yes, definitely cobra. Yeah. <laughs> She's saying yeah, with positive way. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Okay, so that's why you don't touch it, yeah? Yes. This is passion fruit wine. Uh, let's see whether they are ripe fruit. Passion fruit? Yes. Do you know, um, in, I think in one of the beach sites, hmm? there is a lot of Russian translation. And uh, the passion fruit is written fashion fruit. Ah. And they have translated into Russian like fruit of style. <laughs> because they confuse one letter oh, and already everything is incorrect. Okay, okay. what passion, is this? Passion fruit flowers. Oh, it's really beautiful. Huh? Yes, yeah, so beautiful. <gasps> Lovely. Yeah. So and all of these are papaya. passion fruit. <gasps> this is papaya. <sighs> wow. Nice. Mm. Guys, papaya is so healthy for stomach, for digestion. And yes, I think there's a passion fruit. There, still not right, but oh wow, it's so heavy, so huge, not ready yet. Mm, maybe we can check. I think you can. Ha Do you like to harvest this? Let's see. Yes. <laughs> okay. Just cut it. Yes. Okay. Can you hold? Okay. So maybe you can just crack. <sighs> yeah. Like maybe this? I can do it. Yeah. Better. better you can show us. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh mm. wow, you are strong. <laughs> Sri Lankan strong woman. Oh <laughs> god. Maybe wow. you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Thank just you. Okay. Mm. Wow. Try so it. we just eat like this. Yes. Try you guys. Mm. Sour. Mm. So healthy. Healthy. Mm. Very juicy. Yes. It's not sour like lemon, but manageable sour. It's a sour soft tree. Yeah. The ants are biting. This mm. is a sour soft, but a small one. Nice. And you also often make juice from this, yeah? Yes. Wow, so this is a very huge tree, which is covered by another tree. <laughs> it is also cotton. A lot of cotton. Yeah? Brown one. Oh, it's so hot today. Yeah. I think around 40 Celsius degree. Yeah, so hot. This is long beans. Long beans. Long bean. Wow. Mm. Really long. <laughs> in our country, short. Yeah, in our yeah. country, maybe just like this, small okay. ones. Okay. We have norm. This is not a um, normal bean. This is the taste is different. Ah, taste different. Mm, yes, long beans. This is again some papaya, coconuts, long beans, some bananas. And this huge tree is a breadfruit. Breadfruit? Yes. Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> so unfamiliar name for me. Actually, this is a fruit farm inside the jungle. Yeah, do you know why we, we are, are adjusted to jungle? And this is for protecting from monkeys. Ah, from monkeys. Yes. But nowadays monkeys are clever. <laughs> they can just scratch that yeah. back <laughs> and eat what is inside. It's true. Yeah, and nice. Okay. 
Yeah, Such a lovely tour. <laughs> yeah, I know it, it's very hard because of the sun. It's hot now. Yeah, it's so hot. But this is the weather of tropical Sri Lanka. Yes. Sometimes we can use this passion fruit leaves for some salads. So all Mixing. of these are passion fruits, yeah? Yes. Nice. Um, what is that? Peacocks. Oh, peacocks. They are afraid of us, yeah? Yeah. I lost him. It's a ladies. Ladies. <laughs> yeah, we can see, guys. I found her. With the long tail is male, yeah? Yes. We no. call in our country like prince. Oh. Because beautiful, like yeah, king. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all of these animals wild, yeah, from this landscape. Yes. Originally, this is their land, not people's land. <laughs> it's true. Because they came from this land from a long time. Yes, it's true. That's why are you are keeping them here. Yes, and also... Respecting their land. Their land and also allocating foods for them. Allocating fruits also for them. This, this is, is also made of... Termites. Termites. Yes. What is the size of size? Very small termites, Very right? small And termites. how they could make it? It takes very long time to make this kind of huge... House. Thing, yes. <laughs> castle, yeah? Yes, huge castle. castle. This is a guava tree. Okay. And which you already eaten, but you have lunch. Yes, it was so hard to chew guava. <laughs> Here's the screaming one. <laughs> screaming one? <laughs> and because no. she is only one. Alone. This is the mere... Male. Male one? Male? Ah, oh, here. Yeah. Actually, we have a couple. Where's the couple of you? Yeah, the female one, I don't know where now where is she. Looks so young. Yes. Ah, oh, egrets. You have many egrets. Yeah. You call it egret? Yeah, friends, yeah. This white bird? Well, this is a migrated bird. No, this is, not, this is a, a common bird here. Yeah, actually, I don't remember the English name. I think it's egret. But mostly they have it on the rice field. Yes. Yeah. True. Now we are going to reach in spiritual hangout area. Normally the people are doing um, some meditation here. And spiritual hangout. Hmm. Oh wow. And and you call it meditation zone. Yes. Sometimes doing meditation and sometimes reading books and writing their own things. Mm -hmm. uh, some yoga session also. And yes, yeah, this is a calming area. Mm. Uh, this is a lot with the statue. People do praying here? Normally, locals? Uh, the locals are not coming for praying here. Uh -huh. But once they are coming here, and if, if they look this and they are praying. Oh, yeah. It's this, must have to do. Yes, this again, a huge tamarind tree. Let's see whether there we can find some tamarind here. Wow, you found it so fast. <laughs> this is also again sour. Also sour, maybe. yeah? Okay, let's try. Look at this side. Looks like penguin. Quail. Well, like small bird. Okay. Oh, it was so fast to open. I didn't expect it just crashed on my hand. Let's try. Oh, it's super, super sour. Oh, I got it. So in Sri Lanka, mostly fruits are sour. Most of them are sour. Okay, you want to try? This is also a healthy one, yeah? Yes, of course. Yeah, I found another one. Oh, Stuti. Thank you. No worries, yeah. So we have completed our tour. Thank you so much, Purvika. Okay. It was so engaging and enjoyable to get to know a lot about your landscape and the farm. Would you like to explain what kind of packages you have? Yes, of course. So we have some packages with the hostel facilities, yoga facilities and farm tour. Mm -hmm. You can purchase different packages. You can go only for yoga, otherwise you can go only for the rooms. And for our restaurant, uh, it will open soon. Yes. You can get the separate packages or a whole package together. All the details about packages you can check out on their Instagram, Facebook and their website and the links will be in the description down below. So for this tour I would like to greatly appreciate you okay. so that you showed us all the place and um, I feel so engaged. Thank you so much. Okay, so I wanted to say you uh, thank you so much for visiting our uh, fruit farm and yes, I wish you very best thank for you. your future. <laughs> So lovely. Thank you again for watching this vlog to the end. Please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and turn on post notification for the next coming up vlogs. See you guys soon. Bye bye.